Oh my goodness. We wanted to start this episode off with a bang, so I'm gonna surprise Dennis with the best grand entrance I can think of. Literally flying or dropping in. Now, this is a very odd place uh, to be meeting up, but I don't know what Chaitan is up to. So she wants me to meet her here, and she says she's got a surprise for me. So I don't see her anywhere yet. We're ready for takeoff, let's go. That's right, we're going to surprise Dennis by taking the zip line and dropping in on him. This is the first extreme sports facility to open in Taiwan. It was designed by the Ten Drum Cultural and Creative Team in cooperation with professionals in the field. The entire process from planning to completion took an entire year. It's 65 meters long and 20 meters off the ground. That's six and a half stories tall. Oh my gosh. Oh, there you are. I was wondering where you went. Tyler, let's go. You ready? So you, this let's is your this is your Halloween surprise for me? <laughs> she came down in a broom, made me climb all the way down. But I like Here that surprise. For a special delivery. I like that surprise though. How was that? Really? You ready? Really? You ready? Well, yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah. We'll save it for next time. We'll save it for next time. <laughs> okay, well. Aren't you curious why we've come to such a special and interesting place? Yeah, this is this place is kind of neat. So what are you gonna you gonna there, there are more secrets around this area that you can show me? You have some friends in the neighborhood? Oh yeah. Yeah? This is actually uh, what looks like an abandoned sugar refinery. Right. So it was a sugar refinery for many years yeah. and now they've redone things. Uh -huh. So it's a theme park of sorts. Ah, okay. So Wait. today we're gonna go for that special, unique kind of Tainan. And mm -hmm. People don't usually think about that's representative of Tainan, but there's so much here that you can really? you can do. In a sugar refinery. Oh yeah. Surprise. <laughs> Actually, me. yes. Surprise. So if this isn't your speed, we can tone things down a little bit. Turn the dial down a little bit and go swinging. This one looks go what? Swinging. Swinging. Yeah. Oh. Let's go. The Tendrum Cultural Village takes up around 12 acres of land. On that land sits 16 old warehouses that were built during the Japanese occupation era. They brought new life to the sugar factory that had been out of use for nearly 100 years. They have incorporated original Taiwanese drum music, the Ten Drums, making it the first drum music themed international park in Asia. You've swung on a swung set when you were younger, yeah, haven't you? What are we doing up here? This is way too old, oh, my this goodness. Is the adult swing you set. You can see this is this is this is just a grill, and we are way up in the air. What are we doing up here? Yeah, I think it's beautiful because it you is. can see almost 360 degrees it's of the beautiful. horizon. Yeah, this is probably one of the best sites to take a look at Tainan. Right? Yeah, is that the museum? That's yeah. the, that's the famous museum right there. You can there. see just about everything in Tainan from here. Yeah. But why don't we see it while moving, while swinging back and forth? Oh my God! You mean like right here? Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, they have a limit. You have to be 140 centimeters or you need parents uh, participate. My, my mom's not here today, so I'll just, uh, I'll just wait <laughs> for you. I'll just wait for you right here. Oh my God, that's any. It's okay. No, it's this not is like it's scary. gonna just like shoot us off into the air. You're fine. I'm afraid of heights. Heights is not my. You, you, you're okay? Like Are you okay set. right now? I'm okay. Are I'm you serious? Fine. This is gorgeous. Yes. Holy Moses! <laughs> All right. Oh, It'll this, be this an adrenaline rush. This program is hard. <laughs> okay, let's let's give it a try. 
。Oh my god！ 好，来，我的 video 怎么弄？这个我们先帮你戴安全带。OK。哎，那戴进去也有另外的安全带，我们会做双层的保护。Okay。This is it. Just one flimsy belt. I don't get a parachute or anything. A parachute? I mean, I think I need some more protection than than this. I need more protection than this. Okay, I need. I feel protected. Oh my goodness. Look. Yeah, I'm, I'm barely. <laughs> I. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. All right. We're gonna get on this. We're getting on this swing. We're getting on this swing, swing on the top of a, I don't know, maybe a 10-story, a 15-story building. And uh, this is, we're on top of a 113-year-old building. <laughs> oh, well, when you and put it gonna, that way. And we're going to swing off the edge of it. All right. <laughs> that sounds really intelligent. Okay. Intelligent. Oh, oh, yeah. No, no turning back now. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Oh, at least we can control our own speed and height. So what do you say we go for the 360? The you loop? Think, uh, yeah, uh, I'll let you know. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wait for you right right here. All right, let's do it. Woo! Yay, like a roller coaster. <laughs> oh my goodness. At least we're not as high as the smoke stack. Oh, this is nice. This is, oh, it's actually quite smooth. And the view up here, is just gorgeous. Yeah. On a good day like today, I don't. I, I, I think the visibility's got to be five, oh, it's, ten kilometers. It's wonderful. Easy, right? You can see all the way across, and then. Uh, Part of the great thing about coming to Tainan is it's so flat. So once you get to higher ground like this, you can actually see everything. You can see everything. You can see everything: the trees, the cars, the museum, the freeways, and just, just. Keep your mind off of that fact that you're standing on a 113-year-old building. <laughs> Stop <laughs> seeing it. <laughs> in an earthquake-prone island. Honestly, in I the Pacific. Woo! I feel like the sugar refinery is very post-apocalyptic. It's like it was industrialized and then nature took back over. And I love that sensation. It's kind of like being in a video game, like Final Fantasy. Oh, wow. oh, this is nice, huh? Swing through the open air high up in the sky. Enjoy the scenery, feel one with nature, get the best view in the whole park, and feel the romantic nature of this thrilling experience. You hear something off in the distance? Oh yeah, is that a, is that a band or something? <laughs> yeah, there are drums. Ah, well, that sounds cool. Isn't it strange? Like, why would there be drums out in the middle of this area? Yeah, is that like one of the local specialties? Well, let's go check it out. All right, let's go.因為觀眾因為劇場太大了是小时候就对于打鼓有特别的喜欢吗
The Ten Drum Art Percussion Group was established spring of the year 2000. Most of their works are based on the history, landscape, and humanity of Taiwan. Their main purpose is promoting Taiwan's local culture. They hope that the spirit of Taiwan can live through this drum culture. The group's musical pieces have been loved and appreciated by audiences across the world, being nominated for the Golden Melody, Grammy, and American Indie Awards. With themes centering around the scenery and percussion that incorporates elements from different cultures, the public has been amazed by how drums have been turned into such an incredible performance.你打那个拐都还好吗差一點點有東西耶有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有有
from the foot Qing soldiers. dynasty. I, I, don't, I don't like the sound of that. You know, it, it, the foot soldiers always die first. Oh. I have a, I have a bad feeling so about this. So what do you think we're gonna do in these? I, I have no idea. I thought I was gonna get the surprise. Where are we headed? Let's go meet our, our captain, our All lieutenant. Right, let's go. Hello. Hi. 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 Anping Hai San Paradise is located in the Anping District. It is a municipal historic site. It is the largest ancient house still around in Anping today. It was once the center of activities and even residency of soldiers during the Qing Dynasty. It was resold as a private residence during the Japanese occupation period and was later repossessed by the government. After refurbishment, we can get a glimpse at what architecture in Anping looks like many decades ago. Now, visitors can try their hand at a real-life puzzle game right here at and around the Anping Haishan Paradise. The Anping Haishan Paradise itself acts as the base of operations, and all of Anping is the game board. It brings the history of these monuments to life. You certainly should not miss out on such a historic and engaging activity. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. So we're, we're gonna stuck. We're, we're stuck in seventeen we're stuck. something. Seventeen. 14. <laughs> seventeen we're fourteen. Stuck. We are stuck in seventeen fourteen, and we need to solve this puzzle in to be to able to go back. back. Huh? All right. Yeah. So, so we're so. in the Qing Dynasty, uh -huh. and there's been something like what a case that we have to okay. crack. So what are we supposed to do here? So. Well, good okay. luck if you don't know Chinese. Uh,国姓也的宝藏，真诚公司前将最珍贵的宝藏设下谜题考验棋子，必须解开宝藏之谜才能继承宝藏。儿子们无能无人能解破。The <音> treasure map is full of possible puzzles and clues, allowing us to discover culture and history through fresh, real-world challenges. There's a sign on the box. There's a sign on the box. That looks like this. Uh huh. And you just use this. And oh. You just get the okay. So this has a combination that goes along with it. Different parts of the calligraphy has different number representation. So, so even that's... if you don't understand written Chinese, you can figure it okay. out. Okay. So it's what? It's six, and then two. No. This one? Oh, sign. Eight, eight, zero, one. Eight, zero, one. Yeah. But now they have to like change their box. Smart, the box now smart, like smart girl. All right. So let's see what's in here. Okay. All right. I read the first clue. You read the next one. Okay. <laughs> how many? How many? What the heck? I understand the characters, but I don't understand okay, what they're let me, saying. Let me try. I, I, I probably feel like don't. this is like an ancient language. I probably don't either. The escape game incorporates pieces of history while also requiring the participants to use their own problem solving and observation skills in order to solve the puzzles. Okay. Oh. All right. So probably so there's some there's some uh, password passcodes here, and then uh, maybe we can match that to the map. Alright, I, I felt like I just read some Martians, even though I can read. Oh, yo. I, uh, okay. Yeah. Hey, Chili. Chi. An ping kien ho gong. An ping kien ho gong. Is that it? Oh, so we have to get there? I think so. So it's staying where it is. Chi means. Placed. Yeah. Say placed in An Ping Tian Ho Gong. Look at this on the map. An Ping Tian Ho Gong. I think that might be a clue. Right? So is that is that where we should go? Yes. Yes? Okay. Got it! Alright. Let's, let's go. Hurry. Hey, wait down. I mean uh, over there. Go. <laughs> Yay! We have to get to that place. I think it's over there, right? Yep. All right, let's go. 
The Anping Kai Tai Tian Ho Temple is currently the largest temple in the Anping District. It was established during the Ming and Zheng periods over 300 years ago. It sits right next to the Anping Old Fort and is the religious center of the Anping area, specifically for Matsu believers, where it has inherited many years of culture and tradition. Hello, hello. Another foot soldier. Hi. That would be us. Yes. Oh. From the Qing Dynasty. Yeah, yeah. Your eyes look like you're using a lot. Is there a Qing Dynasty? Yes, yes, yes. Because I like it. Sorry, sorry. Yes. The staff members are crucial parts of the escape game, pulling you deeper into the plot by acting as characters from that time period. It makes the activity that much more immersive, and learning about Anping's history that much more fun. Oh, I can see. Oh, Bao Zhang Yao Shi, Weiyu, Geng Wu Zhi Jian. Geng Wu. If you can break this mystery, 或许对你们回到现代是很有帮助的。那个答案是在地图上吗？还是在庙里面？嗯，这可能你们要自己去想想看的。哦，好。Okay. Wait, wait, wait. There's a wu right here. There's a wu right there. Is there a gung? There's a gung right there. Ah, then we where where they connect? Oh, seriously, we're close by. Smart little girl. Lu Jingtang. Lu Jingtang. What's that? What is that? Um. Well, we're here right now, so uh, if, what are these that's, directions? <laughs> if that's north, that's south. Do you not know that side? Is that the side? Oh. Which side is the side? The side should be the side. 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 Wait, but, 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 but well, we know where this is, right? Yeah. It's over there. So we have to go that way. What? We, we've just pointed 180 <laughs> degree difference. That, okay, okay, okay. We're, we're here, and yeah. that's over there. So over this there. is the correct direction now. Yeah. So we have to go that way. Right, so it should be to the west of us, in theory. All right, so okay. let's go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 Oh, here. Wow. It's beautiful, huh? Is it the same kind of tree? Yeah, really? you see that? So it comes down. Yeah. All right. I think over there. The Lu Jingtang house is only a few steps away from the Anping Old Fort. Lu Jingtang was a successful businessman who later expanded his home into the traditional courtyard building we see today. Okay, Lu, hey, Lu Jingtang. Written right there. I think we're here. This is such a cool This is place. a beautiful courtyard. Is this somebody's house or at one point or something? Hi. Hello. 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 It's so heavy. Oh, you can help me. You can bring that thing and bring it down. What on earth is in here? Here, bring it, bring it, bring it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoa! Oh, I feel like the difficulty just went up. Oh, okay. We have a puzzle. A contraption. And what's inside? Maybe we need. It's like a. Oh, wait a minute. So it's a. Come on. Okay, so we have some. Oh. So I, I, so, so there's some characters here, and then this is some sort of a, this is some sort of a, 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 a combination, ancient combination lock, right? Yeah. Yeah, I read something like this in uh, what Da Vinci Code. They have oh, yeah. like, stuff like that. It looks like that. Yeah. And there's this. Okay, what is that? Oh. Uh, let's see what it says. Uh, I'll try my best. Shang Wu Xing Guo. No, 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 no. It's Guo Xing Wu Shang. Whoops. 
I did, no, it. I do it all the time. I did it. I did it back. I did it backwards. All right, I, I, I can, I oh, can yeah, do this. 17, 14, so it's probably gonna. Yeah, okay, yeah, I can do this. Guo Xing Wu Shang, Zhen Wang Tian Gao. What's that? Chan Yang Ju Zhong Ma. Yeah. Oh, Shi Wei Ru Xia, Di Qi Bo Lan. Somewhere in Poland, huh? Poland is some such thing, ma. Oh, not, not. This Poland was this Poland is like uh, some kind of a. Uh, some kind of a, a trauma. Okay, so uh, there are five of these. There's five of these. Yeah. And five of these, if you don't count this, the only star on the bottom row. Uh -huh. So these have to line up somehow. Yeah. Okay. So. Guo Xing Wu Shang. Guo Xing Wu Shang. Zheng Wang. This is all. All letters are here. All the characters are here. All of these, yeah. There's four. So okay. these somehow line up. One, two. Uh -huh. Wait, 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 wait. So there's like Shi in this one, right? So no. if that's second to last, there's like a. Wang. A Xing Wu. Guo, Guo, Guo. Is there Guo? There's no Guo. No Guo. Guo Xing Wu Xiang is Zhu ma. The Treasure of the Country surname is a new type of immersive real life puzzle. Unlike ordinary escape rooms, which are limited to small rooms, you'll see staff dressed as soldiers from the Qing Dynasty stationed throughout the streets waiting for you to find the hidden treasure. Wait, let's do it mean? like... We'll get the ones we know for sure in place. Okay. And then uh, the so first the, and the third one are going to be mixed so up. So the last one is uh, Jin, right? Yes. Line up to what? Okay, Jin. But, yeah. And then... Uh, second to last, Shi. Okay. Then Wang, we're kind of sure about. And then, Zhu, Zhu Wang Jing Shi Zhen. Okay, Shi. wait, let's get it lined up perfectly. Let's see if anything Ready? happens. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, we got it! <laughs> we got it! Oh, wow! Not entirely sure why, but we All got right. it. Oh, then there's another clue inside. Is there okay. a key? Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, so we get a key. A key? Yeah. To a what? Key to what? We're, we're supposed to go with this. 2022? Oh. We're supposed to find the key. That is it. That's the we answer. We found the key. The key was in here the whole time. Oh. Right? Puzzle solved. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay. okay, so we have the key. Now we can go open the, the, the chest that we saw at yeah. the beginning, right? And we're this much closer to getting back home. All right, let, 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 let's go. Let's okay. go. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 All right. We have the key. Hey, we wow. made it. Oh, wow. We're the first ones ever. Okay. okay. Oh. Uh oh, you know oh. how to do that? Oh, you got it. Ready? What did we get? Oh, this is the treasure. Zhu Wang Jing Shi Zhen, 1714. Whoa! What happened? We're back. We're back, We're back in 2022. My phone. Yes. <laughs> okay. And there's, there's signal now. Yeah. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Okay, we're back. We're back for sure. That was it. How, neat. How'd you that like was that a, surprise. That was a pretty neat little trip. I yeah. liked it. I liked it. And we get to see around this area and the history and the story. Well, right. considering we went from 1714 back to 2022, this has been preserved pretty well. I think, I, I think you're right. I think you're right. All right, so time to go home? <laughs> no. No, we're not done. <laughs> yeah. no? We have other stuff to do yet. Really? Yeah. Where are we headed? Come with me, come with me. Oh. The Tainan experience is more than just cuisine and historical sites. Activities like this let you play a real life game along the Anping Old Street through the well-designed plots, clever puzzles, and the NPC-like staff of the treasure of the country surname, you'll be fully immersed into this ancient world, with a smile on your face throughout every step of the way. The next time you get the chance to visit, be sure to let yourself get lost in the rich history and culture of the Anping district. All right, is it, we're here? We're close to the Fort Zealandia, yeah. or Amping Fort, mm -hmm. which I'm sure you've been to. Many, many times. And we can see it looking from the sky or anything. Yeah. So 
I wanted to make it a little bit different uh -huh. by adding a little bit of spice oh, a little to spice. our experience. Okay, how do we do that? Which is why we're in front of this store. Oh, what is this? Chi pao. This is like, like a traditional, traditional tailor or something? Traditional clothes. Oh. So we can sort of take a trip back in time again. And we just came like, back. <laughs> look like we just got how back. people may have looked before. Okay, that's not the okay. Let's, let's, go, let's check go check it out. Oh, oh, I think we have to take our shoes off. Oh, wow. Looks like Look at this place. 70s. This, this is so cool. This is like a like a scene out of a, a Wang Jiawei movie or something. Have oh, you seen anything like that? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking mean. about? Yeah, yeah. Right? It's just so gorgeous. And I, and I think they kept most everything pretty original, huh? The architecture is yeah, really Yeah, the architecture and the display. And the everything. colors, I, that, I that green, that 70s green. Yeah, right? I love it. I love so it. let's go oh, meet so guess, Fei Fei. Uh... Hi! Hi! Hello! Fei Fei. Hello! Hey! We want to give it a try. This T-shirt is too bad. I want to give you a little bit of a little bit. It's suitable for the Oh, okay. Okay. One minute you can wear to the Buddha. Yeah, so you can do it. It's a Chi-Pao store. The Tainan experience is more than just food and historical sites. It's also about walking fashionably throughout the alleys of Tainan in the Qipao. This shop is located on one of the alleys in Anping District. You can choose your favorite Qipao style and retro accessories here, so you too can embody the retro nature of this ancient city. Have you worn a yes, traditional? Yes, I have, yeah. have actually. For, for what? For taking pictures. Oh, for taking pictures? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. All right, so today we're going to try it out, okay? Yeah, so you, oh, I, think you I, I think you can pull it off. Maybe. I, I might, might not have the exact body type for a chi palm uh -huh. because the shoulders are kind of narrower. Uh -huh. And it's very fit sometimes. Mm. But... Exactly. Confidence. All right, let's uh, you can say you should give them you uh, give us some recommendations. All right, let's do it. Okay. okay, let's go. Check out these stunning Chi Pao dresses. Let's first find what style suits me best. Chi Pao, also known as Tong Sam, aren't restricted to special or formal occasions, and in fact, with the way they give people confidence, they should be worn more often. There are also traditional outfits for men, so come with your family, friends, or significant others and slip into one of these outfits too, so you can get amazing photos here along the historical streets. So, what do you think? Not too shabby, eh? The employees of the shop helped us add the finishing touches to our outfits, and the overall look turned out very well, right? Dennis looks nice in his jacket, too. Well, asking for your hand. Maybe I don't want to take yours. So we can do some poses. What kind of pose can you do with this? You can do some poses. Oh. Yeah. 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 Now that we have on our chi pao and jacket, we can blend into the retro environment. So let's head to the Amping Old Fort, also known as Fort Zealandia. The Amping Old Fort, Fort Zealandia, is the oldest fort building in Taiwan, having been built during Taiwan's colonial rule by the Dutch Republic, making it nearly 400 years old. It has seen Taiwan and Tainan grow and develop throughout the past several centuries. Standing in front of the city wall, you can just imagine what it must have been like for people during that time. It now represents two starkly different concepts, as although it has been worn down throughout the centuries, it still stands tall and strong.
thought this was one of my dad's favorite places in Taiwan. Oh, your dad. Because you can like see and feel, touch the history that's here. Mm -hmm. A lot of the history is older than the United States itself. <laughs> yeah, well, the United States is a relatively... It's new. Quite new, actually. Huh? Yeah. But this is beautiful. I, I love how they upkept a good amount of the stuff. I think the landscaping is nice, too. Yeah. Wow, this is gorgeous. And the experience is so much better in Chipa. Yeah, it kind of brings back some majestic feeling. Yeah. Like standing here and then these clothes. And this is really gorgeous. Just yeah. what a beautiful sight. Beautiful and you city. Know, Tainan is not only known for the great historic places, mm -hmm. also for the greats. Ah, food. Food. Mm, there's some good taste here. Starving. Mm. So I'm going to take you to a place that is considered one of the best places to go mm -hmm. in Tainan. All right. Are you ready? Let's go. We've walked the streets of the Anping Old Fort in Chipao as if we were part of the history ourselves, having witnessed the evolution of Anping Tainan through its near 400 years of history. Anping Binjeli is right on Anbei Road in Anping District and has been around for over 50 years. It is a very well-known local shop, being most loved for its delicate and fragrant tofu pudding, or as they call it, bean jelly. No preservatives or spices are added to it, making it a natural, healthy, and delicious dessert. Mm. One of the staples of coming to Anping, the Anping experience, is this tohua. Mm -hmm. It also has many names. I've seen it translated as tofu pudding. Mm -hmm. And outside here, I think it says bean jelly. Yeah, people call but it. But it's a it's basically a different texture of of tofu, right? Tofu. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Have you had this before? Oh yeah. Yeah. This it's place. One of my favorites. No, never. <laughs> and do you know why it's famous in Anping? Do you know why? I don't. Well, this is one of the one of the uh, few places in the world that still makes the, the Dohua uh, the traditional way. So they do uh, advertise it as the traditional Chuan Dohua. Mm. In modern day, it's made more, like the translation is more like a jelly. So there's things in there that make it into like a gelatin. But okay. the texture is slightly different from the way it was made traditionally. Mm. And, but the way that it was made traditionally is more difficult to make. Mm. So people have gradually kind of just evolved out of that and we're losing that traditional taste. Yeah. So if you want this kind of traditional dohua or tofu, this is probably one of the only places in the world now that you can get it. So that's what makes this place so special. I mean, back of the wall, you can see wow. people have been coming here. I mean, this place has got to be around for more than 40, 50 years. So politicians, entertainers, um, celebrities from all around the world, when they come across Tainan, this is one of the places that they have to go to. It's so famous that I don't know if we could get on the wall. <laughs> you know? I don't think we'll, I don't think people print pictures out much anymore. I think they'll probably <laughs> put us on the Facebook. Time of change. Hope for that at least. You know, time of change. Yeah, I do feel like this is a um, it's a somewhat of a lighter dessert to have. It feels I feel less guilty having it. Oh. So like late at night, it's okay. it's my go to right. snack. Then I'm, gonna tell, I'm not going to tell you what's in it then, if you feel less guilty. Okay, it's, I mean, it's, it's all right. Pretty, no, it's okay, it's, it's okay. Sweet, Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> I got the... I Do you got feel the, the texture, what I'm talking about? Honestly, You've had it other places? I've had it other places, it's, but... Uh, the, other, it's more jello. It's like uh, more... It's the modern way of making it makes it a little more chewy and, and gummy. All right. This has... Uh, it, it's the, the, the smooth falling off of your tongue kind of, uh, well, kind of texture, right, yeah. you know what I mean? In fact, Anping Bean Jelly is one of the top 10 must-buys for travelers in Fuchan and is often served to foreign guests. After decades of hard work, Anping Bean Jelly has become a landmark itself. So are you gonna... Mm. Are you gonna treat me to this round of doha? Or, I mean, what, what, what do you have in mind? You pay, I don't know. 
<laughs> but, and we've been all traditional all day, and you're gonna go Western on me now? It's like we go Dutch. Oh, no, that you go. No, the local way is. No, no, no. I, I got no. You got no. I, oh, I got, I got this. Don't worry. I, okay, that's the tradition. You yeah. want to stay tradition, we have, are, to, are we have to fight for it, okay? What do we like, drop the Wabwe and let the Wabwe oh, yeah. decide? <laughs> so we have to fight, okay, all right, let's go the, let's go the Western way. Maybe okay, you Western pay. way. You, no, no. Rock, paper, scissors. I have to pick it. Fine, all right, <laughs> ready? Rock. Wait, we go and go. Rock, paper, scissors, go. Rock, paper, scissors, go. Go. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. on three, or on, okay. No. all right. Well, rock, paper, scissors, go. go. Rock, paper, paper scissors, go. go. Rock, rock, paper, paper scissors, go. go. So, um, I'll have three more to go, please. <laughs> Thank you. All right, all right. It's worth it. It's worth it. No, 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 no. I got this. I got this. We're more traditional. Okay, I'm still from Taiwan. I got. Don't worry. Oh, I got. I, I got this. Fine. No, I'll no, play. no. I got this. No, don't pull me. Don't I'm hold fine. me back. Don't hold me. Don't hold. I got this. Well, I, I got this. I'm I got this. Back. I got this. Now that we've enjoyed the delectable and iconic bean jelly, let's see what Amping looks like at night. What a day. And what a beautiful night. Exactly. Oh, and we're at the harbor. We're at yeah, the... we don't have a lot of time to go many more places considering how late it is, but like you said, it is a beautiful night. So I was thinking we could take a boat out to see this nightscape from a whole different area that we don't oh. usually get to go to. What a nice idea. So I mean, we've, we've seen different sides of Tainan. Yes. And now with the drone, I'm sure people have seen many footages of Tainan in the air, but I don't <laughs> And we had think... it on, a, on a swing, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've seen Tainan from the water. Sea level, I That's guess. nice. So we're at the uh, Tainan Fisherman's Wharf. Yes. And uh, do we have to, have to arrange for a boat or something? I, mean, I, I took care of that. You took care of it? Yes. And it you took classy. care of it? Of course. Wow. I'm impressed. It feels classy, like something maybe a woman would do 50 years ago or something. I don't know. <laughs> <You> don't <laughs> like care. wearing this, I feel classy doing anything. There you go. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's, uh, you but know which way? Up, lit up over there might be All right. Let's, let's go, go see. Let's go check it out. Once you've taken a stroll through the old streets and visited the historical sites in Anping during the day, you should wrap up your day with a nighttime boat tour of the century-old canal. You can watch city lights turn on as the sun sets, transitioning into the evening, all the while gliding along the canal. It gives you a different perspective of the city as well as the history entangled throughout. The Tainan Canal connects downtown Tainan to Anping and is the longest man-made canal in Taiwan. It was completed in 1922, making it just over 100 years old. In recent years, the Tainan city government has added lights, illuminating the surrounding area and giving the water a golden glow. Riding along the canal at night is romantic, just like Taiwan's version of the Seine in France. This is such a treat. I, this is, uh, I've been on the streets here, but I've never seen it from, from the water. the water. And uh, the, the local government has organized this ferry that runs up and down this most amazing and uh, very lit up part of the river. And it's just, just, just gorgeous. And you know, to see the shadows and to see the reflections of the light in it's the water. Romantic. Yeah. Yeah. Quite and nice. the water is a lot calmer than I expected it to be. Oh, well, yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> we're in well, we're in land. Taiwan in yeah. Yeah. But I don't know, for some reason my other boat experiences in Taiwan have been a little bit scarier. But this is so calm that like the only waves that are being made are by the boat as it goes by. Yeah. Yeah. Are you a good swimmer? Incredible. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we're in, I'll we're, be totally so fine we're, here. So we're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I, I really have to say Tainan is one of those places that it's really easy, and not knowingly you'll fall in love with. It's you know it's it's got history, and it's got stories, There's it's got so great food, and most importantly, I think it's got just the most amazing people. People here are so friendly, um, and and almost every single one 
is so proud of where they're living and any kind of question can spark up a conversation. Oh yeah, you know? Oh, they love oh, you know, my, Yeah, my, my hometown, yeah. My, my, my Tainan is this, is that, you know? Yeah, and, and all they, that. They, they love sharing the story behind why they do what they do and what made them want to do it. Yeah. So what, what, what did you like on, on this trip, huh? So much. I really liked the sort of ambiance and the atmosphere, as well as the aesthetic of the sugar refinery. Oh. Just everything about it, it seems so, I, what I say, eclectic? I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, 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 we had a chance to meet the um, uh, one of the managers there. And, uh, you know, I could tell it, it, it's not something that was made overnight. Yeah. I mean, the building has been there over 113 years. But in order for them to put together all of those things and made them into small attractions, right? Yeah. It took a lot of heart. It took a, a, a good number of people that, that lived here and loved this place to, to say, okay, so here we have this site. What are we gonna do with it? How do we make it fun? How do we make this factory fun for, and for people And how do we go? not make any of the machinery that's not being used anymore, like go to use? Yeah. And not, how do we not Reinvent waste that? It. So you'll see a lot of like unique tables that are made of <laughs> unidentifiable machinery from however many decades ago. Yeah, yeah. And they've sort of, yeah, I feel like if you wanted to replicate that place, you couldn't. You couldn't. Yeah. You couldn't replicate the tree, you couldn't replicate the the site, you know? It would take a very, very long time. Yeah, so it's, it's a, I guess you can sort of call it a, a very authentic theme park. So yeah. it's not made out of a mold. You no. can't reproduce another one in Tokyo, in you know Shanghai, in Hong Kong. I'm not yeah. saying which one, but yeah, you can't rebuild that, right? That's something no. that just a, a, a number of creative people with a lot of heart went and built. What was your favorite thing from today? I think, um, well, you know, seeing all those uh, ancient uh, relics. Yeah. I think putting on these clothes and walking through those places, I, I thought that was kind of nice, you know? And we, we, just, we just had Halloween not too long ago. Yeah. yeah so, so it was a time of year that you can be anything you want to be, but then to be this. And then we play that game, sort of like a, a little time travel, uh, <laughs> yeah. kind of a, right, like, a, like a treasure hunt. I thought, you know, to, together, wow, that's a, that's a neat experience. You know, I could, I could really feel, I felt different standing on top of the, the fort. Yeah. wearing these clothes I, I, that's an amazing I, it feels like i i can be a different person for the day yeah you know? isn't it fun yeah right. and each time i come back to tainan there's something there's so many new other things that i can experience yeah. so it's definitely one of those sites that you just have to keep coming back to so anyhow you know all those people that, that watched this episode we, we hope you enjoyed the sites the stories the people that we met and introduced to all of you and, and we really hope that if you ever get a chance to come to Taiwan, come to Tainan, this is the place to be. And I, you know, I hope some of these things can inspire you to maybe find that little magic in your next travel. And you know what? Follow me. Follow me to, to Taiwan. Taiwan. This journey has allowed me to gain a deeper understanding of Tainan and was overall just so much fun. Follow me to Taiwan and you will fall in love with all of the above.